So it's a week later and the fiberglass that we laid up was now well and truly set up. So we're happy with this. And then during the week, Richard just cut a piece of ply here to go in the shower tray and then another piece of ply there to go on the floor section. And then he's also put these three pieces of wood in here. That's basically so when they flip the mold over, that can be rested on a bench in the workshop for molding. So that'll just make it easier for our fiberglassing guys. So what we need to do now is just come in and trim off this excess fiberglass all around the edge of the mold. And then what we'll do is come in with the wedges and see if we can part the mold from the plug. So the mold is out and this is looking really, really good. We're uh, really happy with this, I think, aren't we? Oh, yes. <laughs> We're very happy it pinged off. Uh, the surfaces are pretty good. A little bit of fettling here and there, haven't we? But, yeah. And then polish it up and ship it out. So, so I mean, it took us 10, 15 minutes to get it actually off the plug. Oh, yeah. If that, it just pinged off, didn't it? Yeah, it literally came straight off, which yeah. we think was probably because we put more laser wax on. Yeah, we did 12. 12 layers. I yeah. don't know. Uh, it, it's not as big an area, is it? I, no idea why it just pinged off, but... Came straight off. But that's the, always the biggest fear. Yes. And uh, quite happy with that. So we've got some minor little defects. We, in fact, we've just hit this with a little bit of wet and dry here. Just, I mean, minor blemishes, which will wet and dry and then we'll polish. But overall, uh, it's looking really good. And we did just come in with the... Uh, polishing machine and just see how easily this gel coat would polish up and it was actually really easy a couple of passes and uh, it looks really nice we've got a really nice mirrored finish there all we do need to do now is just perhaps just clean up these little guys here these pokey bits at the back uh, and then i think we'll come in 
uh, get it all wet and dried where we need to on the corners uh, and any little blemishes removed and then we'll come in with a polisher hit it with a polisher do a bit of polishing As you can probably tell from the blood on my thumb, the edges of this mould are incredibly sharp. So a quick sand of all the edges not only improves the way that the mould looks, it makes it far easier and safer to handle. Okay, after a quick wipe down, we're ready to move to the polishing stage. So we're using a polishing machine with wool pad, and then we're using the Mazerna Fast Gloss FG400 polish, which is actually designed to be used on car bodywork, but does seem to work really well on gel coat as well. It's a one-stop process, which contains diminishing abrasive particles, which start as a heavy cut compound, removing sandy marks, and then reduces down to a fine cut compound to give an ultra high gloss finish.
With the polishing now complete, the next step is to cut some 18mm plywood to reinforce the key areas of the final part, such as the shower tray and the toilet floor. Here Richard is using the small trimming machine just to put a small radius on the edges of the plywood so that these can be easily glassed over in the final part.
so our shower mold is finally ready so i think we're pretty happy with this aren't we i think it's turned out well yeah i think it's turned out very well i agree yeah excellent so we came in with the polishing wheel and well in fact no we wet and dried first so we just i think it was uh, 600 and 800 grit uh, wet and dry and that got rid of all of the little sort of any little imperfections that we had on the corners uh, just a few little spots it was minor really so wet and dried it and then came in with the polishing wheel and that got rid of all of the imperfections and it came up really well so really happy with this it's a really nice glossy finish we've got a bit of sawdust on it that's just because we've been cutting the timber and then we've cut these pieces of plywood on the top here so these will actually form part of the laminate and we've these will go in wherever we need strength in the part itself so we've got the uh, heads floor shower floor We've got the shower tray over there and then we've got this area here which is actually where the toilet's going to go in the original sc35 it actually sat in this corner here at an angle but we're sort of thinking we might put it over here that seems to be quite common in a lot of the modern boats so uh, yet to be decided but we can figure that out afterwards but yes really happy with this and uh, so what we'll have to do now is we'll run this over to our fiberglassing specialist and hopefully he'll be able to mold that part for us so Hope you enjoyed today's video guys, if you did give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.